Hi there, I'm Laura from Lingbabes and today we're going to see 10 of the most common two-word expressions that you need to know if you want to sound more natural and advanced when you speak in English. Time is money, so when we communicate in any language we try to share information as fast and effectively as possible, right? These are the 10 top expressions I was talking about and they only have two words! But before we go on, I want to make sure you have subscribed to our channel Linguaves and you've turned on the notifications. So hit the red button down there and you'll know whenever there is a new video ready for you. Now let's go back to our lesson and if you watch till the end, I have a surprise. I have one extra expression you're going to love and the possibility for you to practice what you've learned so you can't miss it. And our expression number one is help yourself. Help yourself is what you say when you have guests at home and they ask you for permission to get something but you want them to feel comfortable, relaxed, so you tell them help yourself. Imagine you had some friends over for dinner and one of them asks you can I have some more bread please? You'll answer sure help yourself, take as much as you want. Or last time I went to my friends for dinner I wanted some wine and I asked him can I have some more wine? He said, yeah, help yourself. And it was not a good idea. Our expression number two is I wish. I wish is what we say when we are sorry or unhappy about a situation we would like to be happening in the present, but it's actually not. For example, imagine you see a man driving an awesome sports car and you tell him, wow, is that yours? He answers, I wish, I'm just the mechanic fixing it. I wish, meaning I wish this car were mine, but unfortunately it's not. Or I have a friend who has two kids. I ask her sometimes, hey, how are you? How is everybody? Are the kids asleep? I wish. I wish, meaning I wish they were asleep, but they're not. Our expression number three is, guess what? Guess what is what you say before telling someone some interesting or surprising news. Like, guess what? What? I've just passed my driving test and I've got my license. Or, guess what? What? I've just seen my ex with his new girlfriend. When people ask you, guess what? They're not really expecting you to guess what they're going to talk about. It's not a real question. They just want you to show interest and ask, what? Our expression number four is, no way. No way is a very intense way to say no. We can even make it stronger by saying, no way on earth. For example, imagine your little sister wants to go out and she would like to use your new car but she's a horrible driver, you don't trust her at all you would probably tell her no way or no way on earth no way can also have a second meaning, a positive one this is what you use when you want to express surprise about some news for example guess what? what? I'm getting married! no way, really? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Our expression number five is never mind. Never mind is used to tell someone not to worry about something because it's not important. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I've lost the wallet you gave me for my birthday. Never mind, I can buy you a new one. Or, I'm sorry, uh, you paid for the beers last time and you've paid again today. I should have paid, sorry. <laughs> never mind, next time, <laughs> she never pays. <laughs> Our expression number six is as if. As if is what you say when you want to show something is not real or possible. It's a bit sarcastic, this one. For instance, we all have one of those friends whose life is perfectly fine but they are a bit dramatic and sometimes they just can't help making a big fuss about it. My life is horrible. 
I'm so unlucky. Everything is wrong. As if. As if, meaning as if it was true, as if your life was that bad. Come on, it's not. Or, hey, did you get the pay rise after all the hard work you've done? <laughs> as if, meaning as if my boss was going to consider doing it. <laughs> I wish. Our expression number seven is my condolences. This is not a very cheerful expression, However, it's really important because it's what you tell people who've lost a loved one recently, someone in their family has passed away. For example, after Michael Jackson's death, people from all over the world contacted his family to offer their condolences. My condolences. I'm sorry for your loss. Rest in peace. Our expression number eight is go ahead. Go ahead is what we say when you want to give someone permission to start to do something. For example, can I ask you a personal question? Sure, go ahead. Or when someone interrupts you, you have not actually finished talking, but they start. Oh yeah, you know what I was Oh, oh sorry, it's fine. <laughs> go ahead. Our expression number nine is how oh, sweet! This is a way to express that something is nice, cute, heartwarming. Like, my boyfriend had arranged a surprise birthday party and he invited all my friends and family. Oh, how oh, sweet! Or when a little child says, Don't you feel well? I can give you a hug and you'll feel a lot better soon. Oh, how sweet! Our expression number 10 is let alone. Let alone is quite an advanced expression and we use it when we want to emphasize a negative situation over another negative one. For example, I don't have money to fix my car, <laughs> let alone to buy a new one. Or my boss didn't give me permission for three days holiday, <laughs> let alone for a week. And this is the surprise. Our extra expression is shit happens. I love this one. This is a slang and we use it when we want to show that something didn't work as expected or as planned and we don't want the other person to feel bad about it because unexpected events happen. So for example, can you believe this? I went on holiday to the Maldives and it rained every day. <laughs> well, it happens. Or I studied for my exam for over a month and on that day as I was going to university I got stuck in traffic and I arrived 45 minutes late. Yeah well, it happens. And that's all for this lesson. Here you are, 11 really useful expressions natives use all the time in everyday conversation. And you can start using them right now. So. Check the mini test we've prepared for you in the description box, comment with your answers and I'll check personally how well you've done. You know that I make new lessons every week, don't you? So make sure that you subscribe to our channel Lingoverse, turn the notifications on and stay updated with our latest videos. Check as well our Instagram account where you have more videos, you can participate in different activities and games. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you soon.